with nowhere they could sit together as a family. Excuse me. Long and narrow, with the sink at one end and cooker at the other, the poor layout wasn't the only problem. It also suffered from dated decor and potentially hazardous wiring. With just £4,000, their dream was to remodel their entire kitchen. Piers came up with the clever idea of utilising unused space, and today we're back to see how far they took his plan. So how's it all been going? Are you exhausted? I've had enough of it by now. I think. <laughs> I've kind of... I'm quite happy to stop at this point, so... I've had that end-of-term feeling for, like, three weeks now. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So have you got what you want in the end? Totally. And more. Look at this. Wow. Fantastic. Amazing. Fantastic. The space you've managed to carve out of here. The previously narrow layout has been opened up by knocking through into the alleyway at the back of the extension. Unlocking this hidden space is the solution to the layout problems. It was such a funny little slot here. It's not a vast distance, you know, in a measurement sense. It's not even a metre. No, it's not. It's, it's about, no, it's about two foot. It makes a huge difference. It just feels much more open. And you've now got this amazing seating area. With trailing extension leads and no space to move, the kitchen was unsuitable for the children to be in. But having rewired, they've been able to reconfigure the kitchen. And now a built-in seating area allows for a contained, safe space out of harm's reach. Has this become the kind of family space you wanted? Oh, totally. The, the first day we put the table in, the girls ran straight in and sat down, both next to each other on the bench, going, oh, this is really <laughs> exciting. They can be eating their breakfast while I'm getting on with stuff. Having saved £2,000 by doing the labour themselves, Kath and Greg then bought basic kitchen units and went with Piers' idea of a bespoke stainless steel worktop costing £515. I mean, it's really great to have a thing in your kitchen which is completely custom-made and bespoke, and these, this is just a lovely finish, isn't it? I was a bit worried that it was going to look a bit like a catering kitchen, and it totally doesn't. It's kind of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. For me, it transforms this kitchen into something that would be fine with a standard worktop, but now it's kind of exceptional. And I think there's a really important lesson in going beyond the high street. Kath and Greg have worked incredibly hard to complete their dream, but did they achieve it on their £4,000 budget? I mean, it's an amazing result, but tell me how much you spent on this in total. I think uh, the whole shebang was about five and a half. Five and a half grand. So you yeah. went a bit more than your original... A bit more, but we did more, because right. the floor cost about yeah. a grand. Heavy lifting, the kind of building work, how, what proportion was that? It's about one and a half to two, something in that neck of the woods really? for that. This, for under 2,000, is oh, unbelievable yeah. value. Well, I couldn't believe how cheap lintels were. It's about 15 pounds. This looks really, really beautiful. Right, ready? But most importantly, Greg and Kath have got what they dearly wanted. A space where they can spend quality time with their daughters. We couldn't have all four of us been in the kitchen before. There just wasn't space. And if I was stood here chopping, Greg would have to come around behind me to get to the cooker, but now he doesn't and he's got all that space over there and it just feels right. They were talking about whether it should be moved. Oh, really? Well, the difference is, is huge compared to what it was like in the kitchen before. There was nowhere to sit down, there was nowhere we could all do this. Really, it's not a huge amount of space, but it's meant it's changed the, the shape of the kitchen drastically. Do you like being in the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> do you like being in the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. With just a few thousand pounds and a load of hard work, Kath and Greg have radically transformed their home. And they've done it in a way which has taken a 1970s idea of living, where the kitchen should be out of sight and out of mind, and turned that room into the heart of their family home. I think it's a great achievement, and they've got a great space out of it.